Hey everyone, so I guess we finally witnessed the first beta of Mac OS 14, or should I say Mac OS Sonoma? Yeah, it was out about two or three days ago, as I was when I'm watching this video, and it came out at a significantly smaller size than I expected. Yeah, so if you're already on developer beta, this will be around like 5.82 gig. Yeah, so. We talk about the new features, the new changes, and you know, the new apps, every little stuff Apple has changed. Yeah, it's quite exciting actually. So the first thing I'll talk about is the wallpaper. So we have a new this is the default wallpaper. Yeah, for Sonoma. It has a light and a dark mode. Yeah, as you can see. But I prefer the dark mode. So, we also have a couple new wallpapers that are kind of live. We have the Grand Canyon, we have Iceland, we have Hawaii, we have a couple more. Okay, these aren't currently downloaded. Yeah, that's one that's in. You're going to have to download all these wallpapers because they are all kind of high res. Yeah. So, another cool thing with the wallpapers is that there is a live feature, which brings us to the next new feature, which is the new lock screen. So, yeah. You can see this is a lock screen. You can see there's kind of live activity in the wallpaper. Yeah, this also why the files are kind of big to download because you notice even with fast internet, it will, it will take quite a while to like get them downloaded. Yeah. And also the lock screen picture, that's the account picture. It just shows at the bottom here. And the clock looks kind of, um, should I say iOS-ish or iPadOS-ish. Yeah. Let's try out the Hawaii wallpaper. Okay, yeah, the clock is kind of more visible here. Yeah, you can see how the mountains move. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite features about, you know, the whole new UI design and all that. So. Also, when you check in the wallpaper section, you're gonna see the new promotional wallpapers for the new 15 inch M2 MacBook Air. Yeah, so we have radial blue, radial green, radial purple, and you know, radial yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of colorful, but whatever. Apple has an interesting taste in wallpapers. Yeah. I'm going to go back to this. And that's not what you guys take note of is that there are a few devices that are no longer supported. So let's check this out. Sodoma is going to be supported by. 2019 iMac and later 2017 iMac Pro and later 2018 MacBook Airs and Pros and later 2019 Mac Pro and later 2018 Mac Mini and later and 2022 Mac Studio and later. So basically, 2017 MacBook Pro, 2017 MacBook Air and below won't be supported. Yeah, and you know, the rest of them. I know most users are using MacBooks, so that's like where the main focus is. So this feature in, you know, when you have an open window like this and then you click the desktop, it takes away every open window you have. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of mini stage manager because like it helps reduce distractions and all. But if you want to turn it off or on, you're going to have to go into settings and here. So in desktop and dock, you'll see click wallpaper to show desktop items. You can either leave it on always or only stage manager. Yeah. Personally, I like it as it helps to, you know, reduce distractions. Yeah. So. All right. So another feature we like to talk about before you guys get too curious is these widgets you see on the desktop. Yeah. One of the core features of Mac OS Sonoma is that you can finally paste widgets from the widgets pane all the way to the desktop. Yeah, so let's go to the widget from Binance. Yeah, so you can just drag it and drop. Is that easy? Drag and drop. Yeah. And that thing is that you can paste widgets from your iPhone apps straight to your Mac desktop. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So you go into settings, desktop and dock, go down here you'll find use iPhone widgets. If you have multiple iPhones links to your Apple ID, you're gonna see an option to choose between your iPhones, yeah. 
So that's definitely cool. Also, the widgets are just their color, so something like monochrome where you are using other apps, so it won't really distract you. But you can set it to full color or monochrome. I prefer the auto option though. It switches when you're on your desktop and when you're in an app, as you can see. Another feature we have is if you are typing, there is a change now. Whenever you enter caps lock, you're gonna see it will show an indicator for caps lock. Yeah. And also there are a couple stuff with predictive text. I haven't really had a chance to implement that yet, but it makes it gets better as far as you use the OS longer, yeah. So let's see hi my name is sorry my name is Adi. yeah hi my name is Adi. okay so predictive test lens basically as you use mac os and all that so it's also on ius 17 so i think over time we'll see it get better but that's just what's new here caps lock shows when you type and you enable caps lock and disappears when you disable it yeah one thing you take note of is when you go back to settings now and siri siri now works as siri. yeah so you can set it to siri or hey siri or just hey siri oh you can turn it off yeah you can see it came on so let's try it if it's siri yeah, you can see I have internet, but then it came on. Siri. Yeah, it's, it works perfectly as just Siri. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection. Not important. So, the feature we have is in Safari. So, over here in Safari, we can add icons. We can add apps, basically. That's web apps to our dock. So, basically, I have to go to file and hit add to dock. And then it shows the website name. You can set any name you like. Also, the icon shows by default. Yeah. So that's how it works. And hit add. You can see YouTube has added to the dashboard. So, or the doc, sorry. Why do I mix up Windows terms with Mac? So basically, that's something Chrome could do. I think this is even faster than Chrome. I think Chrome, you're going to have to create a shortcut. You know, drag it to your um, doc and all that. So. This is very convenient. Yeah, so another feature called game mode. Basically, when you go into any game, it brings up a mode called game mode, which Apple claims allows you to prioritize your system resources on that game rather than like the whole operating system. So let's try out Fortnite. Yeah, you're gonna see it's gonna come right up. Yeah. Yeah, it prioritizes the performance of the game wide in full screen. So basically, let's just see Apple is making some initiatives, you know, to help gaming and Mac. So everyone has said Apple doesn't really care about gaming. They care low key. They just don't show it. So quite cool. Basically, in summary, like there are many other features I haven't even covered yet. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time to, you know, test everything out, make sure I've gotten the full scope of Mac OS Sonoma. And then I'll also get back to you guys. So also I want you guys to like tell me what you think about Mac OS Sonoma if you have installed it yet on your MacBook. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And also turn on post notifications. Yeah, I had it out.